In this video, I want to teach you how to change the colors on gear you have in Path of Exile, even if that gear has been corrupted. Okay guys, so let's say you're playing Path of Exile and you wanted to create a weapon with the right socket colors, but you're getting kind of screwed up on that, you don't know how to do it. Here we go. Assuming in this video, the build guide that I'm following required me to make a weapon that was three green and a blue socket, all connected, okay? Three, three green sockets and a blue socket, all connected. How would we do it? So check this out. In this video, I'm going to show you using a couple chromatic orbs and jeweler's orbs how you can do that. When I got into the game, I would find things like this and I'd try to, you know, use a jeweler's orb because it reforges the number of sockets on an item to get to four sockets. So I'd right click and left click on the item until I got the sockets that I wanted, but I wasn't always guaranteed to get four. So I'm going to sit here and use a bunch of jeweler's orbs, right? And bang, I got four. Okay, I'm happy. Awesome. But what happens if I never got it? If I was just so unlucky and I never got it? There's something here called a crafting bench in your hideout. And if you click on that, you can actually drag the item in. And just to prove the point here, we're going to type in the word sockets, okay? Sockets. And in the other category, I could set it to two, three, four, five, six. And it's very expensive, but I could do it, right? And it kind of scales up the cost of that jeweler's orb from my inventory or my stash to do it. So again, if it had two sockets and I actually just wanted to get to four, I could spend 10 jeweler's orbs and make it happen. Cool. Uh, that's, that's how you do that. Now, again, our build guide said we're supposed to have, if you remember, three green sockets and a blue. But items of Path of Exile want to roll certain colors more often. It's important to know that. I'm going to show you my gloves here. My gloves are Hydra Scaled Gauntlets. They're Armor Evasion Rating Gauntlets. So they want to typically roll red and green more often. How do I know that? It's because that's the item type. If it has Armor and Evasion, it's going to want to roll Armor, which is red sockets more often. Evasion Rating means green sockets more often. If it was an intelligence-based glove, um, it would then roll blue. So I wanted to get the most difficult color on these, which was blue. How did I do that? And how can you do that? Let's go find out. So instead of just spending all the time using these chromatic orbs on the item that you want to get green, 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 blue, right? Let's see. I press chromatic orb. Again, I right click, left click. Okay, they went red. That's not green. Right click, left click. That's not it. I can actually press right click and then hold shift and then click on the item. And now I can use the chromatic orb as many times as I want. And we're looking for green, 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 blue. Okay, that's what we want. But it's not happening. So how do we do it better? Here's how you do it. You go to your crafting bench in your hideout and you click on it. You then drag the weapon into that socket. And I want you to type in the word again, sockets. Okay, so sockets. I want it to go to two sockets because I'm going to do something else next that's important. After I've set it to the base of two sockets, I'm going to go back to where I said sockets and type in the word green, which is the color that I'm supposed to find. So for 25 chromatic orbs, I'm going to have at least two green sockets. And I hit craft. And now they're both green. Awesome. The next step is I'm going to type in the word sockets again. And what we're trying to do, I want to explain. What we're trying to do is we're controlling the sockets. And then we're going to change them so that we always get the, the result that we want for a very cheap currency investment. Let's go back into it. So I've got two sockets. And now I'm going to say I want you to go to three sockets. Okay? Using jeweler's orbs not chromatic orbs. So three sockets, craft. Ah, dang, it's blue. That's not what we want. Easy. Just go back to two sockets, reset it, and just keep doing this until you get green, right? You just keep going. We could take blue. We're supposed to go green, 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 blue, but it can be green, green, blue, green. It's fine. But in this case, we're going to try and make it exactly what we said. Green, 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 blue. So two sockets, three sockets, right? Two sockets, three sockets. We're just adding that socket. And when we populate it, we're going to hope to God that it rolls the rare one green because we didn't have enough, let's say, chromatic orbs in this example, but we do. So here's how we would do it if we had the currency to make sure that we nail it. Watch this. OK, I'm going to go back to sockets, which is which is three. That's fine. And I'm going to type in the word green. And there is a bench crafting option that says at least three green sockets for 120 chromatics. Now, I have that and I could just set it to three, three green right now. But what if you didn't have that? The cheaper way is using jeweler's orbs to do it, which is why we're not spending that many chromatics. We're going to assume we didn't have that. Okay. So this is, this is the idea. So you go back to three, two, three, nonstop, two and three until we hit that green. Okay. We just keep going with it and we're going to continue until we get there. And then we finally do. So once we've got that, we're going to add the fourth socket. And if you remember, it's going to cost us 10 jewelers orbs each. Okay. So we're going to now go add four, four sockets. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not, excuse me, that's not blue. So green, 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 blue. We're looking for the, we're looking for that blue socket, that last tricky blue socket. Bang, we got it. And congratulations. You now have the perfect weapon you wanted with the right colored sockets. 
And then the next thing you do is you'd add a fusing orb to fuse or line up all these different links. You're gonna link them all together, all these different sockets, okay? Now, let's go a little bit different here for a second. This is more of an in-depth thing that you're gonna wanna know. Let's assume for a second that I have this other weapon, but it's got this nasty thing called a corruption. Corruption can be amazing, by the way. Don't be too fearful of it. Are you able to change the socket color and the socket links on a corrupted item? The answer is yeah. But you'll notice in our benchcraft, something else comes up. It's called a val orb or a vol orb, okay? So we're doing the exact, it's the exact same process, except now we have to include this corruptible currency type into the mix of the recipe. So without going over your head too much, you can do the exact same thing. You just have to get a vol orb inside the recipe at the same time. So let me show you that, okay? On a corrupted weapon that we're gonna use, I'm gonna set the sockets to two and it's corrupted, bang. Okay, now I'm gonna say I want green, okay? At least two green sockets, it's 25 chromatics and 25 vol orbs. Cool, that's the one for me, craft, awesome. Then I go to sockets, right? I'm gonna say I want three sockets and away we go. It's, it's business as usual, green, 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 blue until we get what we want. And that's how you can change the colors of items so you can use your gear now in Path of Exile. I hope this video was informative and don't be afraid of your crafting bench. It's actually an amazing tool. And once you get to use it, you can help yourself out, your friends out, and hey, you're the color master. Congratulations. Enjoy. Much love to you guys. See you on the next one.